here at the Grant Houses in Harlem helping Azalea. Azalea sent me several videos. She says no one is listening, we're listening, and we're fighting for her. We're making it happen. It's so nice to finally meet you. Azalea Mallory lives at the Grant Houses in Harlem. Mallory sent us these videos on Facebook. I'm in a wheelchair, and I haven't had a kitchen sink since the 27th of March. Mallory sent us about half a dozen videos from her kitchen to her bathroom, showing us all the problems in her apartment. I have a four-year-old daughter. Yeah, and you worry about her health. Yes, I do. Mallory has cerebral palsy. She says she has waited for a transfer to a wheelchair-accessible apartment for over a year now. She says we are her last hope. It's very frustrating. It's times that this elevator doesn't even work. Mallory says she only needs a one-bedroom apartment. Right now, she is in a two-bedroom apartment that is falling apart. She showed us her kitchen first. Look at this. In her kitchen, there are no cabinets, no sink, and duct tape and plastic cover the wall, where she says work was started but never finished by the city. What do you want to tell NYCHA? What do you want to tell? Like, we really need help, and we shouldn't be cheated like this. This condition that we live in is not even suitable for an animal or anybody to live. Look at her bathroom. The ceiling is constantly leaking, she says. It's raining in the bathroom. Again. What's taking so long when it comes to getting repairs and transfers in New York City public housing? That was a topic on our live Monica Makes It Happen Facebook show Wednesday. Sandra Bradford was one of our guests, and Bradford lives at the Farragut Houses in Brooklyn. She says she's been waiting for a transfer for over a year. And NYCHA tells us the vacancy rate is less than 1% in NYCHA right now. And that translates into 187 vacant apartments across the city in NYCHA. NYCHA also tells us that they are looking into Mallory and Bradford's complaints and taking action in their apartments for repairs. And if you have a story, reach out to us on Facebook at Monica Morales TV. That's Monica Morales TV. We could be in your neighborhood next. With the